Boss to crack, lads and ladies around the world. My name is Stevie Geek, and yes, we are back with Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes, yes, the journey continues right here, right now. Goofy's having a little dance over there for some for some reason. I, I don't know why. Don't ask me where Donald is. Donald seemed to... Oh, Donald's having a little dance too, it seems. But we are back with Kingdom Hearts 3, and I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you guys enjoy the Kingdom Hearts journey and you want to see more from me, then you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss this playthrough. It's going to be epic. And of course, make sure you hit that like button as well to show your support for the videos. Anyway, all that being said, lads and ladies, let's get back to Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, all right. Wait, who said that? Are you going to the old mansion? Can I speak to you? I mean, I don't think we have a choice, Donald. Oh, Heartless! Yes. I'm a bit rusty, so I kind of want to do some combat here. Fire! Oh, it was my kill. Be taking my kills. Well, I'm in front, like. Right, in today's episode, I just want to really focus on my abilities and stuff. Oh, look! We're in the woods! Oh, oh what's up here? Wait. Is there anything? Oh, look! Uh. Yes! I'll help you find the next one. Nice. Nice. I, 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 I got one. Huh? It's a lot of fruit. Who's, uh... Hmm? What's that? Knocking the fruit off the tree. Oh, oh it's heartless. Mon heartless. Monkey heartless. What do you think they're up to? Huh? Hmm. Oh my god! Look! Right on that branch! The Heartless have him surrounded! Right to Chewie! Oh no! What's up? Yeah! I didn't even realize Rat Ratatouille was, um... Was the Disney movie, I didn't... I didn't even know that! There's my second form again! Did not mean to do that. I did. I, I did. I didn't mean. All right. Was. I mean, why not? I suppose. This is a lot of water. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have flare force. We'll go second form again. I'm practicing. Just I'm gonna use this just to practice a little bit. So I could do. Sonic Blade there. Look, I can do Sonic Blade again, look. Oh, X to attack some more. Okay. Alright, Donald and Goofy. I was, I was trying to do some shit there. Okay. Look at them. Well, take care. They're so cute. <laughs> Whoa, what what is what, 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 what. Whoa. <laughs> Lucky. That little feller's parked on your head. 
Huh? <laughs> Would you cut that? Uh, oh. Oh. I mean. You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. It's a pretty uh, unique skill that Rat has got. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit. Is is it, right then? Is that what we're doing now? Collecting fruit. I went from saving the world to collecting fruit. So, what are you gonna do with all this anyway? Chop it up and make a nice stew. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Gonna make ratatouille, obviously. Well, okay. You be careful going home. See you around. How is he supposed to carry all that himself, though? Right, so everybody watching, I know I'm a little bit rusty, but like I said, I haven't played this game. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there. <gasps> ah! <sighs> Thanks for the heart attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? Uh, oh. <laughs> Or bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. So we're going to the data version of Twilight Town. <sighs> sure love that word. Love that D word. Data. Here we go. Eh, the password was uh sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. <laughs> DTD. Uh, Door to darkness. Uh, oh, man. The oh, transporter's no. been protected. It's bugged. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Uh, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah, but how'd you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Uh, oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh... I love Goofy. Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup, but I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... 
I can't uh, run it. Which program? The uh, transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Uh-huh. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. <laughs> Glad you're following along. I can't computer. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. Oh. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh, no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey. <sighs> so cool. I love this, man. I love revisiting these characters and seeing them again. And the fact that they have um, even more influence in the story. So, you think you can bring Roxas back? <sighs> what the frick are you doing here? Awesome. Oh my god! Another one! Zemnis! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well... Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Ansem and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Uh, if they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, 
Yeah. Damn right, Goofy. You tell him, Captain Goofy. <laughs> yeah. In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return. Of course. You wish he'll never answer to you again. Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. Oh, crap. Okay. Nobody's unheartless. Now, set your heart free. Wait. Goddamn gruesome twosome. It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. Let's do the damn thing. Whoa! We got the shield! Dude, we got the shield! Here we go! Whoa! What the freak? Whoa! That was so cool, man! Oh. oh! I didn't want to use this. But we'll use it anyway. I didn't want to use this because I want to get used to the combat. But sure, look! It was there. Dude, I love Sora's outfit in this game. He looks so cool. Herc said... He said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? <laughs> You I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. So what I learned is when you keep attacking with this and build up the meter, it has a cool special attack. So I'm guessing that accounts for every Keyblade. So that means you can have three different Keyblades equipped at the same time, which means three Keyblades have three separate different special abilities. On top of that, we have all of our magic, we have the different forms, we have the team-ups with Donald and Goofy, and we have them special flashy moves as well. God, this game has a lot! That is so damn cool. Wow! <laughs> well, bless oh. my bagpipes! It was you, laddies, who rescued my chef. Oh, Uncle oh, Scrooge! Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? He did. That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a shelf? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for ya! Hmm... 
What is it? Wow! Cake! cake. Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Cake! Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? <laughs> Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Apple Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on time! Aye! It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So, I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh! I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients. Especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kinda like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah! That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. All right, um, completely uh, not relevant to what we need to do, but all right. A little chef's bistro can transform the ingredients you've gathered into delicious meals. Eating the cuisine you prepare will grant you beneficial effects like temporary stat increases. Alright, so I guess I uh, actually do have to use uh, ingredients for stuff. Ah. Huh? Lovely. The Grand Bistro. Hey! Guys! Huh? Oh. Painter, Olette. Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hi. Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. Wait, there's QR codes in this now? <laughs> there, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry. And eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of them for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's our job! But we'll definitely be It's our back. job. <laughs> when are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost, but Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, these two again? Oh. Of course. 
Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes. Just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Obtain Giant Land, a classic kingdom, a classic kingdom game. You can play it on your Gumi phone. And we got a new keyblade. We got the Shooting Star, with an emphasis on magic. The Shooting Star keyblade can be form changed into a projectile weapon called Double Arrow Guns. What? While well, form change, hold R2 to take aim and automatically fire a stream of shots towards foes. What? I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Dude, look at these Every visuals. Then, Holy crap. I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. Look at her! What's wrong? Look at him! Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. Look at what? Lee! I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Where, where did yeah, you... I asked Merlin to pick these up. Where, where did yeah. you have them? We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. I'm very silent for you, Lee. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. Don't eat it. Oh, crap. <laughs> what? No, uh, nothing. It's just, I just can't believe you're eating it. <laughs> you're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Oh. <gasps> Wait, how the hell is he remembering her? 
He's not supposed to. Look, he's tearing up. Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. Okay, Axel Dane. Man, make up his mind? <laughs> oh my god, we saw Xion. He saw Xion. Oh, what is going on? So, this is the place where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness. After she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Anson the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? Nice little recap. I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. Mm hmm That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. Yep. 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 No way. That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Big oof there, Master Aqua. Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. Damn, even like with the recaps and the, the subtle... Explanations? That's hard to follow, man. <laughs> That's so 
<laughs> like, even after everything I've been through in Kingdom Hearts, and I've experienced everything that there has to experience up until this point, that recap was still really difficult to follow. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, there's a Gumi shop, Gumi editor, garage. Save your game, visit the Bistro or change settings. Okay. Right, so we are here right now at Twilight Town. We have... These are other worlds to visit, I'm assuming. Oh no, they're treasure spheres. These are treasure spheres, sorry, yeah. We opened one of them last time. Kingdom of... Cor Kingdom of what now? Kingdom of Corona? We're not going there anyway. Jeez, we're, we're, we've had enough of that already. Alright, so let's go to... The toy box? Uh oh. Incoming. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. That's not a boss, it's just an obstacle. <laughs> He's got so many health bars though. This is taking forever. Do I have like anything else that I can I can shoot? Not doing so hot right now. Right! Okay! I feel like I'm like... I'm missing something here as well. Don't hurt me! Ugh, I don't like this one! Ah, you bollocks! No! Back off! Ah! It was just in your way. You can exit if you... Oh, is, is it... Is it too hard? Oh, is this really, really hard? Am I like 200 levels for this? Can I try one more time? I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's just head straight to where we need to go, right? I made it! Yes! Oh, come on! All right. Oh, yes, there you go. Uh, what is this? Uh. Wait. Why does this guy, that guy look like Noctis from Final Fantasy? What the hell is this? just get an ad why did I just get an ad I was watching that uh, sorry but this is no time for television Rex gotta say that Giga is pretty impressive really I like his aura most <laughs> Woody what gives Shh. are they back Shh. Toy, are they Toy Story heartless? All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. 
I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. Would you calm down? Don't worry, I got you covered. I take it he couldn't afford Tom Hanks. Did they at least get... It's go time. No. They didn't even get Tim Allen? Really? You got a friend in me. I love Story Story! Yes! Yeah, what the hell was Pharaoh Rex? So much happened in short periods of time. I have no idea how to what process it. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, are we Where tiny are too? We? I am um, Lego. Oh my gosh, have we been shrunk? I and and look at us. You don't know what the magic is for. We have to protect the world order. A Lego border. Wait, wait, Lego. It's not order. Gorge. Hmm? Who's gonna protect the order from them? Heartless. Okay, we go on three. One, two. Wait. Uh, what are you doing? Who are those guys? Oh, I am a toy. Oh my God! Let's try our new keyblade. Why do you keep doing that? Double arrow! Oh! Look at me go! Magic launcher. Let's try this. Dude, I was having fun! <laughs> oh my god, this is actually so cool. Wait, we can go outside? If an enemy attack sends you flying, press square to perform it. <gasps> we finally have aerial recovery, because... Instinctively, I am pressing circle when I get bashed in the air and nothing happens. But now that I have this, finally. Are they new? Uh -huh. Wait, oh, oh, you look familiar. Huh? I know this. What? You're, uh, uh, you're, uh. You're Zora. Huh? My name's Sora. Who? Oh. <laughs> Stay back. For all we know, the intruder yeah, said. Zora! Okay, this is Toy Story 1 Slow then, there, right? Rex. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah, and his mom mm -hmm. must have bought them for him. Ham's right. Did you see how easily they took care of the intruders? I bet they're here to figure out why all our friends have gone missing and why Buzz's laser started actually lasering and had all the weird stuff that's been going on. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. Well, maybe not. So you're Andy's new toys? Toys? You sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh? In that case, you're all right by me. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now, hold on. I'm Sora. Yes, Sora! <laughs> Actually, my name's Sora. And I'm Donald. Well, I'm Goofy. And I'm Buzz Lightyear. Call me him. It's a real honor. And I'm Rex. I'm your biggest fan. In fact, I've been playing your game for months now. This makes me want to watch the Toy Story movies, man. Up to level 47, but that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. 
I love that Rex is a gamer. All troops, at attention, mm -hmm. sir! It's the aliens! Oh no, yeah, the aliens are there, so this is Toy Story... This is after Toy Story 2, then. Strangers. Or this is Toy Story 2, maybe. From the outside. Uh -huh. Welcome. They're all toys? So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are... <laughs> no. Well, you must have come from somewhere. <laughs> Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. But still. Hey, mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No. They just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't think. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's heard from Mom, Molly, or Andy. We keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. <laughs> yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well... Hmm. Hmm. There's one thing. One big thing? Huge, sir! What thing? After everyone went MIA, the intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. As a matter of fact, he's the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? Uh-oh. <gasps> But that would mean... The organization! You know who it is? <laughs> yeah. They're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry. But we're not gonna leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place him in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, mm -hmm. follow me. It's out the window and down the roof. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, you've got a point, but we've tried waiting. Look, if we go with Sora, we might find a clue. Are you with me, Buzz? <laughs> of course. Okay, let's move out. Oh man, it's so nostal nostalgic, man. Hurry, Sora! Yo! What? Yeah. It's so cool! But actually getting to explore Andy's room? That is nuts! Can we turn on the TV? This is so cool. This reminds me of the old uh, Toy Story game. What was it on? PlayStation 1? Oh man, I played the crap out of that game. Oh look, it's the ball! <laughs> look! It's the famous ball that appears in like all of these movies. Look at the pictures. Little League practice at 3, three o'clock. Was like you're on TV, 10 a.m. What are they seeing in the cinema? 
Buzz Lightyear? And uh, wait, there's someone Buzz Lightyear in the cinema? Space Rocket, soccer match. We can punch as well. Come on! Yeah, you like that? That's so cool! This is so fun! Any more of these? There's no one. <laughs> That's so freaking cool, dude. This world is gonna be one of my favorites, I think. He was being controlled? He wasn't just switched into battle mode by accident? Buzz? It's nothing. I'm confused. Hmm? That guy in the black coat. Did he say he made a copy of the real world? What's that mean? It probably means they split this world in two. Your friends in one world, us in the other. Only one of the worlds is real, and the other is just really convincing. You can't be serious. Oh, that's right, you're from a video game. Well, maybe in your game, that's how things work. But here in reality, you can't split worlds. Uh -huh. This is ridiculous. No. I... How do you know I was from a video game? <laughs> Woody, let's go. I admit, it does sound just a little far-fetched. But say we have been taken to some kind of alternate world. That would explain why your laser's real. And is it really that crazy? Worse than evil emperors and protecting the galaxy? Any of that ring a bell? <clears throat> Point taken. But that just means these strangers are part of the delusion. And I say it's time we parted ways and went home. Thought we were friends, not strangers. <laughs> Look, I get that it seems weird. But we know something's wrong with this place. We should stick together. Sora's right. They helped with the intruders, so they might help find our friends. They have been there for us so far. You can't deny that. Come on. Every toy deserves a fair shake. Am I right? Tell it to that toy over there. <gasps> hmm. Sheriff, sir! Huh? Rex has just been dino-napped! Oh no. What's that? Oh. My men saw him get hauled up to the second floor, sir. And Ham and the aliens are MIA. Come on. We have got to find them. Please let us help. Yeah. <sighs> oh shit, another one. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> What's this? Oh no! What did I do? Whoa, he just one shot him. <sighs> Love how the Keyblade stays nice, the same in the cutscenes. That was great! Great? Really? Would you say I was impressive? Very impressive, Rex. We couldn't look away. Hooray! 
Yay! Oh, that makes me so happy. Were you watching too? Did you see what I did? I was going to hear some, but Listen, I think Rex, I might have actually achieved you... something close to Earth to Rex. Do you know where the others were taken? What do you mean? Did something bad happen? Back to square one. Oh, great. Huh? Sarge, have you got a status report? Sir, one of my men just located Ham, forward of our position, in babies and toddlers. <sighs> the corporal was debriefing him, but something must have gone wrong. All radio contact has been lost. <sighs> Anything more specific we can go on? Right before I lost contact, I heard music with some sort of sonic interference. Music? You think it could be the Heartless? Let's find out. I agree. Actually, I think I'll head back and wait by the entrance. I'm sure those vents are going to be much too narrow for my big dinosaur tail. Really? I'm sure you'd fit. Oh. Rex is right. Besides, we need a lookout at the entrance. It's an important mission. Can you do it? Yes, sir! Oh my god, I love this world so much, dude! There's so much exploration to do! Whoa, look at these statues! What the hell? What, Dissidia? Final Fantasy? What? Square Enix, you cheeky cheeks. Where are the play arts section? Where, where, where's the play arts, eh? Show where all the play arts statues are at. Ooh. Lower vents. Oh, look! Let's see. Oh, no way! What? This is so cool! It's a rocket! How do we freaking steer this thing? That is awesome! Whoa, we making it rain! Okay, there's no need for this then. This is babies and toddlers. Where do you guys think we should start? Jesus Christ, I wish there was a toy shop like this over here. Bloody hell. Sarge, didn't you mention music? Affirmative, Goofy. Hmm. All right. Why don't we look for things that make noise? Sure. That's the for you. <laughs> what do you mean from me? <laughs> hey, don't you can't be slagging me like that. Get away with it. <laughs> I think they really are good guys. Well, you wouldn't have trusted them otherwise. And I know that your trust is a hard-earned treasure. <laughs> well... For all our sakes, let's hope you're right, cowboy. I'm willing to give him a chance at least for a little while longer. Especially if it means getting Andy and our friends back. Agreed. So long! Ready when you are! Hang on! Go time! Oh, yeah! Oh, shit! Oh, oh my god, that's so cool. My god, it's there's so much in this game. You can literally combine so many different attacks in whatever way you'd like. You can have so many different playstyles in this game. It's actually kind of crazy. What are these little guys? 
Ooh, what's this? Is this it? Oh. Come on, Sora. You've never used a record player? <laughs> huh? Oh, here we go. Like this. Oh, uh -huh, here we go. <laughs> It's working. Wait, did that sound off to you? Again. Huh? Yeah, hey, Sora. There's some kind of strange noise coming from the orchestra. <laughs> Got it, Woody. You keep the record going. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's this guy. He's the odd one. That's all right, Woody. That's enough cardio for one day. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Something seems to be stuck in this tuba. I'll get it out. Almost got it. There. Oh, it's one of the army men. Corporal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You all right, son? Uh, yes, sir. That's the soldier Sarge lost contact with. So you found Ham? Yes, but while I was radioing in, a giant hand grabbed me, and it stuffed me in there. They must have taken Ham to another location. We have to hurry. Wait, Corporal. You're not fit for action. But Sarge... Your tour is over, son. And it's all right. Our trusted allies will take over. Damn right. I will move the Corporal <laughs> to a safer location. He's getting so Good emotional. Luck, gentlemen. <laughs> Aww. What do you can stop now? Huh? Hey, 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 hey! What is going on? Oh, right! Woody! Mission complete! Uh, why didn't you tell me a little <laughs> sooner? Oh, oh. Uh, 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 Sorry, there's no time to rest. Uh, Ham yeah. needs us. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Woody. Uh. Search for Ham. Right. The expert's ring. Sweet. Thank you. That's cool. Now that I know that the, the emblems can be literally just the shape as, as Mickey. Like literally, I thought I thought what I was gonna be looking for is all those little engravings on the walls, but turns out you can actually find them in. Like, loads of random areas like this, and in different shapes, and formed with different objects. That's kind of cool. Boys and girls, lads and ladies around the world, that's going to end today's episode of Kingdom Hearts 3. You guys enjoyed? Smash like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. But I'm going to end it here, and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Kingdom Hearts video. See you later, dudes.